I went in the locker room and I thought about it and I said, oh, I have to get in the ring back again with him because, you know, right away I realized that I know I did some mistakes, that I it wasn't the same Leo Santa Cruz that always comes to fight, you know. Uh, so that's why I said I want to get in the ring right away next. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I was really motivated to step back in there with him and go back to the gym, train harder, and do everything right. Yeah, would, would a win yeah. over Frampton be the biggest in your career uh, compared to Abner Mars? A lot of people see that victory as your signature victory. In terms of your legacy, would yeah. winning the rematch be a, a significant win for your career? Of course, yeah. yeah. I think it is. You know, Right now, Frampton, he won Fighter of the Year. He's, he's up there in the top 10 pound for pound best. So, you know, beating, beating the car from this fight, I think it will put me up there. You know, it will put me up there in the pound for pound's best. And, you know, beating a fighter of the year and, you know, car from then taking away his undefeated record too, it will be the biggest, I think, fight of my career and it will put me up there and continue to get big fights. Leo. Leo, you have to be so anxious to get inside the ring to redeem that your first loss. What's going through your mind just a few days away? I'm very excited, you know, happy and anxious. Anxious to step in the ring and see what's going to happen, you know. Um, I just want to go out there and show everything I've been working on, you know. Uh, I've been sparring already 12 rounds. I feel great, great conditioning, great speed, great power, everything. And I just want to go out there and show the world that, you know, I'm better than confirmed and uh, I want to prove it and show it. Hopefully, God, everything works out and we get the victory. It's good to see your dad looking better and better. What difference does he make being in your corner compared to the first time that he wasn't? Uh, a lot better. You know, there, you, you know what a big relief there is having him there with me because, you know, the first time I was just thinking about him, worrying him that if he was going to be able to be there with me in my fight or how he was doing because, you know, they said that once you have cancer, any, anything will happen. Uh, if you could be good today, and then tomorrow you could be bad and pass away or something. And that was always my main worry about my dad, you know, to see if I was going to be there with us tomorrow. And But now he's been great, you know, the cancer is in remission 100%. And he's been in the gym with me every day. And it's just big relief, and I, I even train more relaxed and more comfortable. And what do you have to do differently to convince the judges or to stop Frampton this time? I think I had to get more punches in clearer, more more clear. I had to, you know, I'm going to work the body a lot more. I'm going to break him down and just set my punches a lot better. You know, the first one, I think I threw a lot, but they weren't getting there clearly. They weren't there saying with great power. And now this one, we're going to set them great with great uh, power and just make him a lot clearer. This time around, we're expecting a lot more Mexicans in the crowd. How excited are you from a, a great show? Yeah, I know I'm you know, excited because you know, right here is like my second hometown in Las Vegas. I fought there six times already, and having there my home hometown and everything, you know, it feels like great, uh, great support. And they, they're gonna support me once up, up there in the ring. And I feel when I feel tired stuff, and when I hear them scream, they're gonna give me that extra, that extra to go out there and give it to that to the last round. See, what message do you have for all the fans that are going to be out there supporting you and watching you on Showtime? And uh, to all my fans that thank you for all the support, that the ones that after my defeat, you know, they still kept supporting me, pushing me, telling me that I'm still their champion, that thank you all of it, that they're the ones that kept me, you know, uh, motivated and with the hunger to go out there and become again their champion. And that's what I want to do. And hopefully at uh, January 28, I go out there and give them another great fight, fight of the year and get them the victory. Yeah.